Hello, this is D58 Microprocessor Microcontroller Lab. Experiment number 4, Sorting of Numbers. And the aim of this experiment is to realize that how to arrange an array of byte numbers in ascending order for 8, 8, 6. And we will be find out maximum and minimum numbers present in the array. The logic behind this is, let's say you are going to arrange the byte data. But 8086 is a 16-bit processor. You are supposed to arrange it in the, uh, I mean, arrange it word data. But to start with, uh, you can think of byte data to be arranged. Assume you have uh, five datas, so you need to arrange it in ascending order. How are you going to arrange it? You need to compare it. Take this register. Uh, actually, you need to understand that those datas are in the memory, external memory. And obviously, the first memory before starting to the array, the first memory says what is the array size which will be 0 5 together the 0 5 is an array right so what you're going to do is uh, I need to compare this data and this data in order to compare it bring this data into the processor let's say I store it in some register e AL and store this 56 in BL because the 8-bit data now so that is what I'm using 8-bit register and now the data these two data which are in memory coming to the processor which is stored which, which are stored in AL and BL respectively then I am going to compare it by comparing this I can arrange it back then I can again I will write it back to the memory itself okay this is quite straightforward and uh, things very clear but coming to this how many comparison you are going to do I will be comparing this and this but when you want to compare it you have to bring it into the processor register but anyway you have to compare this and this so compare first compare one then after that the data will be arranged right skipped or uh, arranged such way that it is in ascending order first compare and i have to compare this and this thereafter this and this and thereafter this and this how many compare it is compare two compare three and compare four so look at very clearly the array size is about five number of comparison to be made is four that is array size minus one time that is very clear now let's say I'm going to arrange it in uh, by comparing one by one. So how I am going to arrange it by comparing this and this, I will understand that 56 is lesser. So this is, since this is ascending order, so I keep 56 in top of that and 71. Yeah, now 71 is in uh, this memory. So this is going out, right? Again, I write back this data to this memory. Assume that uh, this first memory is 56 now after first compare and second memory is 71. Now I take second memory and third memory, I comparing it this and this. Obviously 71 is greater, I mean less than that 72, then I no need to swap it. So no need to have swap, leave it. So the compare is, I mean swap is not required, failed. Now this is third data, the third data is compared with the fourth one. Now you are comparing this and this such way that the 48 is less than 72, right? So then I swap it so 48 and uh, 72 you understand the same data uh, i mean the data modified data is arranged in the same memory itself you no need to have separate memory for storing the started of data right yeah now this is the fourth data and uh, along with fifth data i will compare this and this obviously this is greater and this is less, uh, less than that and i need to swap it how i am going to swap it 37 comes up 37 and 72 good so or, or this is the first iteration we call one iteration is over but even all comparison on first iteration is over but data are not arranged as any order effectively still 37 is here right but what happened in the first iteration it is concluded concluded that the last one is a maximum among this array that is good right and anyway so now this one no need to be compared you need to compare for the remaining top data so now how many compare you need to have one two three you can save the time right so that's it so now in second iteration you need to go for again uh, what already you have n minus one here n minus two that comparison is over i mean that that is sufficient so what i do now now go for second iteration this is iteration two iteration two right iteration two and i compare the things uh, one by one compare this and this obviously 56 is greater less than 71 so no need to swap it compare this and this obviously 48 is so 56 is here 48 is less so keep it on top 71 so i'm swapping it 
okay fine this is their data the dead uh, third data and fourth data is being compared 37 obviously 37 is less than that so what i need to do 71 i keep it down and 37 I think you will understand that, right? 72 is not at all adjusted or compared. That's it. So during second iteration, what happened? Uh, so I just clear all the remaining things, otherwise it will confuse you. So the, within the same memory, of course, the first is the first is not disturbed, right? This is saying that array size. So look at this data one, data two, data three, and uh, data four and data five. So only two iteration is over right now again one more iteration i will go back i mean i have to go so what is iteration iteration number three so i'm going to compare this and this this and this that's it because uh, how many iteration is over then you can left uh, the remaining data right so only two iterations to be done so upon i i mean uh, uh, on th third iteration upon comparing this and this 48 is less right so there is 48 and 56 right then 37 comes now 56 and uh, 37 is being compared obviously 56 greater and this is being arranged what happened this is 37 and 56 as it's 71 72 and all being stored here so after third iteration the memory being modified with this data i think you'll understand it very clearly Yeah, just wait for it. Erasing it. So on third iteration, uh, yes, good. So iteration third is over. Upon third iteration, we have the data being arranged. But still, you look at very clearly. Still. There is no ascending order, right? But the lowest data is all arranged ascending order properly. But in middle, you have 37. So you have to go for one more iteration. So th that is fourth iteration. On fourth iteration, what will happen? This fellow is going up and uh, that is coming down. That you know it, right? So the RSI is 05, 37 goes up and 48. And 48, 56 compared. So there is no swap and 56 is here. And 71 and 72. That's it. So this is over. So you need to go for n minus 1 compare for i mean you need to do n minus 1 time of iteration understand if rsi is 5 then you need to go for 4 iteration if rsi is 3 then of course you have to go for 2 so on so forth correct the array size will say how many iteration you have to go per iteration how many compare that you have to do and all you can, you can look at the logic and you, have, you can do it right coming to the program this is how they have written the program now uh, yeah you understand that you imagine that uh, the data being arranged from 8000 to 8000 of course 8000 will have the array size now the effective data byte data are stored from 1001 to 1009 so here you will write the data after execute before execution you will have the count 10 and you have the data after execution the data being modified but whereas the count size will not be modified and remaining data will be modified i mean arranged in ascending order that is your experiment so i need to initialize the address 8000 x and so forth dl count the dl register and cl register for counting dl register for number of iteration and cl register for number of compare so count minus one this count how how it takes count uh, that is missing right yeah the process is supposed to bring count value for this how it, it brings count value so you have to initialize sa register that is not being initialized we write it the code right now mov Yes, I comma thousand each. 